Hey, good morning. Um, today is a very exciting day. We are on our way to take my youngest son to um to the allergy clinic because you guys don't know, but a couple of months throughout the year, around like fall and winter, he has a cough nonstop for months. And they have tried to give him asthma medication and all that kind of stuff. And it never worked. So I was like, he don't have asthma. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll see you guys. In um, so I actually got the day confused. We went all the way to the doctor. And something popped in my head and said, ooh. I can't even see that. Like, um, Something popped into my head and said the 28th. I don't know. You got the green. Then I pulled over and checked. And um, yeah, so the appointment is tomorrow. <laughs> so that's crazy. We got up, got ready, and came all the way to the doctor. I'm glad it wasn't like on the other side of town. I mean, it was like kind of, it's like kind of far, but. Um, but anyway, y'all, so um, yeah, so we'll see y'all tomorrow when we actually do go to the doctor. Noah, we're on our way to the allergy clinic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's only time. Now we went back down. So we're what? here. Um, Noah is gonna get his allergy test today. I'm gonna be up in the first test. I'm gonna, yes, but. That's awesome. Have you ever had skin testing before? Mm -mm. Nope. So I have a tablet with pictures on it, kind of showing you what skin testing is. Do you wanna see that? Does that help you to kind of know about things beforehand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, perfect. We'll do that. <clears throat> And then I brought my bag of tricks too, so you can use that during a skin test. But we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? So, do you know why we do skin testing? No. No. So, basically, we do it to figure out if your body has an allergy. So, do you get itchy or sneezy around certain things? I mm know. -hmm. Yeah. So, this test will help figure out if there's something specific that it can make you itchy or sneezy, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you've already done your first step, change into your lovely gown. So next up are talking about these little, we call them Bumby stamps. They are made out of plastic, um, but this is how we do the skin testing. So, first step is we write on your back with some marker. Feels a little tickly, but that's kind of how we keep track of where those stamps go. And we'll do it on your back, since that's a big kind of area that we can put all of our stamps. So that's why it's on your back. Right. Next, we use those little stampers. And what we do is if this is your back and this is the stamp, we give it a little push, a little wiggle, and then it comes off. Okay, so have you ever eaten with a plastic fork? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and what what do you think it would feel like if you put a plastic fork on your skin? Like, not even that hard. Yeah, that would, that would hurt. <laughs> but just kind of a little push. Maybe a little pokey, right? Said, uh, but it's just made out of plastic. What, so you did that? You can reassure yourself. Uh, just a little plastic. Okay. The picture you showed me. I see you like her no. right there. Her body, her jaw's just a whole super, super still. Mm -hmm. And we'll do our wiggle, and then it comes off. So That's it doesn't go it's into your skin or anything. It's just enough. Okay. And then our oh. body stamps leave like a little sort of raindrop. I'm trying to look. Water on our, your back. And so our last step is just drying off your back with some paper towel, and that feels nice and gentle. And those are the three steps. Do you have any questions about the marker, or the stamps? or the drying off. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So then afterwards, you wait about 15 minutes for the test to kind of do its job. We got popsicles, do you have popsicles? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all right with your parents. Yes. <laughs> popsicles. <laughs> and then we've got all sorts of other stuff that you can do to kind of keep your mind busy. It's normal for your back to get a little itchy, um, but your great job is to not itch it, okay? So we can find some other things that you like to do to keep your mind busy, okay? Once that 15 minutes is over, they're going to come and just look at your back and see if any of those little um, raindrops or dots on your back have gotten any bigger. 
If they have, they might measure it with just like a little ruler. They see it's called reading your back, but that's what they mean. They're just going to measure those dots and see if any of them got big. And that will tell us if your body has an allergy. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. Do you have any questions about that? No. No? All right. Perfect. And then sometimes when kids get skin testing, they like to like squeeze a stress ball or play with a pop it or play a game on the iPad. Do any of those feel like they'd be helpful for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which one? Uh, play a game on the phone. Like, oh, I'd like to just show you these and then have them out just in case we want them. They can be pretty helpful. Sometimes during each stamp, it's just like you get a big squeeze or something. So if you want, you can squeeze them, see if you like them, or want to use them. You don't want to play a game on an iPad? What games do you have on your phone? Go kart, racing. <laughs> <laughs> I can leave it. Motorcycle racing as well. Ooh, motorcycle racing? I don't have that either. Man, I don't think I have any racing games. I have like <laughs> Minecraft and that sort of thing. Oh, you like Minecraft? Ooh. <laughs> 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 I don't like that. Yeah, I have like these ones and like Fruit Ninja. Um, oh, I haven't played Fruit Ninja in a long time. I know. I forgot about Fruit Ninja. I know, I Fruit do too. Ninja. And then Minecraft there. So, so how do you feel about the test you're about to get? Great. Great? You don't feel nervous? No. Oh. You think it's going to hurt? Mm -hmm. The hardest thing is probably going to be when you, if it, it, when it itch and you can't scratch. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's just these little plastic stamps that I'm going to wiggle on your back, and then we'll know the results in about 15 minutes. So okay. So we'll do the testing, and then... I still not all we have to Yeah. You just keep holding super still. <laughs> all right, you ready? Mm -hmm. So little stamp. One, two, three. How's that? Good. Good? Good. <laughs> <laughs> One, two... Good nice. job, Noah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Perfect. So there's going to be one right here that pops up positive that lets us know the test works. So you're going to start feeling a little bit of itching right there, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple puffs of albuterol, and I already know you're going to be excited to do the game again. But then we're going to do that like the birthday candle one again in about 10 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. So that means his breathing was low. Um, I'm not so. This is pretty common. We do this like there's certain numbers they look at. So the test measures like how much air comes out when he's breathing because he, he has to like blow out really hard. Okay. And what they do is they they use the albuterol and redo it to because it sounds like what you were saying it didn't help. So she wants to see if this helps his numbers. Okay. It doesn't mean they were like super low or anything. Okay. Um, this is pretty common. So okay. Yeah. I'll have you take a big breath out to the side. So go ahead and take a big breath out to the side for me, and then you're going to put your lips on here. And then I'm going to do the puff, and you're going to take a slow suck in and hold your breath for 10 seconds, okay? All right, so big breath out to the side. So out to the side, yep. Okay. So did you blow out? There you go. Lips on. Suck. Hold. One, two, three, four. And then did you hear that little train whistle noise that it made? That means you went a little too fast. So just slow down your breath in um, a little bit this next time, okay? Mm -hmm. So wait a minute and do this. Okay, lift on. Suck. Good. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Let it out. Go. Eight here, eight here, 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 and here. So mm -hmm. she numbered the six different yeah. um, trays that were placed in the stamps, I guess. This one, this reaction is supposed to be here. So this is what a, an allergic reaction looks like to the test, right? Okay. okay. Um, it looks like a little mosquito bite. You can see the pink area around it and how it's raised up. And then if you look for any others that look like that, yeah. there's two here, right? Wow. Um, the rest, no. So he's not allergic to dust or cats or dogs or trees um, or wheat or mold. Um, or weed pollen, but he is does have an allergy to grass. Okay. okay. So, so yes, he's allergic, um, but to something very seasonal, right? Okay. That would be a spring.